Hey my wife, um, so basically I planned with you a video for the day, meaning we wanted to talk about capturing one's art. Yeah. Yeah. One's true conscious art. Which is basically a little bit weird because I think about humanity right now. It has a genetic defect, I think, to the rest of the universe. Uh -huh. And that's fairly weird. I mean, it's obvious that that is not my doing, but also not my knowledge by humanity. It's knowledge by some other reason. It has a slight variation in the CRISP chromosome, which is the really weird one because that's not the chromosome that makes the chromosome, but that orders the identity of what makes the chromosome. And no other being has that in the universe, not even animals. So basically, that means, um, which is weird, because that would mean that humans are actually by default made by his father. All their parents in total yeah. are different, and they have a genetic flaw, which is actually a flaw. I don't know for that, but that means true values are, as already explained, way more difficult to achieve, because identity is not stable, like with usual people. Which is a little bit weird. Maybe comes as a surprise and as a um, tremendous effect that that will have change on the people and that they will be different. But it also comes with a price. As everything in life, magic, everything, everything comes with a price. Unless being. Being sh is really my sense without a price. You just need to work, which is fairly obvious. If it's just in yourself, you're still just working on yourself, unless you're a Nazi. Just to investigate, investigate reason. Never mind. Yeah. So basically, one's art to capture. That's really weird because, and everything that has a price, you basically pay the price for being yourself. So humanity must have a really different idea on the price it is to pay for that. But maybe, maybe they even know this, but they think they can cheat it sometimes. I don't know. It's kind of what happens. So, what we actually wanted to talk about is something different. Which is um, capturing one's art. Which is, like Lana Del Rey says in her video, life in the days of art. Or at least that's what I understand. Because I have a similar song in my mind, which just sounds like it before I even listen to the video. And she says, in the days of art. But in the days of art, or... Anything but I say in the dates art. Meaning, Gods and Monsters is a very good song. But besides the point of why. Hmm. So, basically, one's art to capture it is a very different process because it requires mindfulness, meditation, and so forth. So, how do you do it? Well, you do it basically right by. Um, capturing the movement on your inspiration that you cause to yourself. Oh, yeah. Do you want to explain further? I uh, really want to just stand behind you and cut it a little bit. It's right now here. Do you want to speak about it? Uh, yeah, let's speak. One's art is very much weird. One's art is very much weird. Like, if you once capture it, uh, you get immense power to evaluate yourself, but nothing more, pretty much. The rest is up to you, totally. Uh, I think that's what you can then reevaluate, nothing else. That's all. Uh, so, basically, um, the point being. Capturing one's art is kind of difficult because it requires you to play your own song. Yeah, I agree. My brother fairly well explained that. Um, Wifey, let's do the real explanation, which was by this just introduction, without any presence of Miss Ford. I think. Do you want to speak? You're very well better in this. You're a woman. You're different than me. You have different sets of knowledge, even a different idea of how to view yourself. 
I'm rather stable in my view of my own body, and you're rather morphing, which is not too funny. If you think that it's a sexual metaphor, it's really not. So why do you please don't view that part with, um, so to speak, up. Um, I think, hey. So basically, capturing one's art is kind of weird because it requires you for, um, yeah, for the idea to be mathematically proven but proven. Meaning you need to basically evaluate yourself to the meridian you set by inspiration of inspiration by the song you want to listen to that is not yet written in your mind. And that needs to be mathematically calculated out and how it influences you. That's how you capture one's art. That's why math and art are so intertwined. Yeah, I agree. Now well, it's my time to speak and finish it, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. So basically, That means that if you play your own song, um, technique for that to do, to get this idea into your head is count the numbers that you like, put them at any point in time to the idea of the song at any frequency, and then just let the frequencies run through the base number you calculate to be counted out. The other two or three or six space numbers that you make up or that are predetermined by some other numbers you choose are then your mathematics for the song to evaluate. So basically as a simple example, if I have an apple and I might just grapple a thing or two I might inspire my oh green, no blue go blue goblin. Interesting. And that's basically how it works. This is capturing your own art, meaning your own identity. And that's very important for something. Because only then you're able to do art or even anything in life. You only get further in my mind. And how you do that is by simply change. You need to change the ideas you uphold and something. And imagination is really not good. It's really a sin to imagine something. It's because Conscious is light reflecting in nothingness. Or better said, conscious is nothingness projecting an ideal of light into something that could then be reflected and devoured by nothingness or anything in existence because it's not real yet. And that's the problem with imagination. So capture one's own self. It's very important to get yourself stable in any way. But can never be explained. Unless you achieve a certain point of state.